Hello. In this session, we will try to make Niagara's particles move along the path of a spline. First, we create Niagara. We create a spawn burst instantaneous node to generate only one particle. And we set the sprite size in initialize particle. Next, in particle update, we create scale color and set scale RGB to linear color to set the particle to the desired color. Next, we create a scratch module. In the map get node, we create a spline parameter to capture the location of the spline. An age parameter to get the time value of the emitter and a float parameter to adjust the speed at which it moves along the spline. We create a multiply node and multiply the age parameter and float parameter to make the particle move along the spline over time at the speed set by the float parameter value. Next, we create a sample spline position by unit distance node to get a value normalized between 0 ball 1 of the spline's location. Then, we create a module node, connect it to the multiply node, and create a loop so that when the age value becomes 1, it returns to 0. And we connect it to the sample spline position node to make the particles follow the spline in an infinite loop. Next, in map set, we create a core parameter, position, and connect that parameter to the sample spline position node. We create a spline parameter in the user parameter to set the spline and set it in the scratch module. Next, to create a ribbon, we create an empty emitter. Then, we remove the created emitter's sprite renderer and create a ribbon renderer, setting the ribbon material to the ribbon material provided by the engine, as seen in the video. Next, we create a spawn particle from other emitter to generate particles from the location of the particles of the base emitter, and click the Fix Issue button to create modules in emitter update and particle spawn. Then, in particle read, we write the name of the base emitter and set the spawn rate. Next, to create ribbon, as in the video, we set the apply sampled ID as ribbon ID in particle ID sample. Next, to give movement to the ribbon, we create add velocity and set the mode to from point. To set the color of the ribbon, we set scale color, apply a curve to scale RGB set as linear color, and set the desired color. Then, to naturally create and disappear the ribbon, we also create a curve for scale alpha. Next, to narrow the width of the ribbon gradually, we create scale ribbon width and set float from curve. Next, we set ribbon width mode to direct set in initialize particle to set the width of the ribbon. Next, we return to the content drawer and create a blueprint. We click the add button in the blueprint to create a spline and using the spline generation panel on the created spline, we create a circular-shaped spline, and we remove unnecessary spline points and adjust the locations of the points to center the spline.
Next, we click the Add button to create a Niagara system and set the spline Niagara we have made so far. Then, we place the created blueprint in the level and set the blueprint in the spline parameter so that Niagara refers to the spline. Finally, we reopen the Niagara system window and set the value of speed in the scratch module, and we can see the particles moving in an infinite loop along the spline. If you think the ribbon is too long, you can shorten its length by reducing the lifetime in initialize particle where ribbon renderer is set. 